I have had this book nook a few months now. I got that from my husband. I don't remember if it was a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, but it doesn't matter. This was uh, definitely a scam. The box we were looking at was a DIY project and it was um, um, a lot nicer than this one. So yeah, we got scammed. Uh, anyway, I am going to take it all apart because it's not even built together right. So I'm just using uh, whatever tool I have to kind of force it from uh, each other. Kind of force it open like this. And um, yeah, it was quite difficult and then again it wasn't. The light here looked a tiny bit weird because there was wire sticking out everywhere, but it was working so I decided to save it. Um, I am also saving the little cat you saw on the first board that I took off, the bottom piece. And the little bicycle that you see here on the back piece, I'm going to save that as well. But everything else has to go. This glue here really didn't want to budge anywhere, so I tried with some heat and that actually worked. Uh, so that was good. So you can use heat if you have some glue that is just not budging at all. So now I have all the parts. These two pieces, I won't need those, so they go in the garbage. And uh, I need to get rid of the residue from glue here and the things that has been glued on the sides. Uh, so I'm just going to force that off here. And when I have as much as possible off, I am going to my sander in... Uh, the back room and sanding the rest down so it's nice and flush. And here is the result of it. I am using some blue paint, some white paint, and some other blue paint and making kind of a uh, something that should look like a sky on this one. But this really doesn't matter because when I was done with it, I did not like that at all. Uh, but here I'm showing you what I did. I'm just mixing the colors just here and there. Uh, if you like that kind of sky, then go for it and that's why I'm leaving it in here but I really didn't like the result here. Well, I then just took some normal sky blue paint here and just painted everything with that instead of this textured blue. Um, looking in the back mirror, I might should have kept the uh, toned blue that I had here because that could have um, actually been better, but I decided to paint it all over with a nice uniform bluish color here but you can do it as you want to now let's put this box together so i am taking my wood glue here 
and I'm just placing some glue for the back side of the box or the end of it uh, just all the way down here like that and then I am placing the backdrop or the backside down into the holes and uh, forcing it together just like that then I am gluing the top in place again just dabs of glue here and on the back side and then placing that on top here trying to make it straight so that it looks a bit more neat than it was before and I'm using my hammer here because it didn't really want to go down then I am going to glue on the other side as well just to keep everything straight and nice so just popping up the glue everywhere that this plate is going to touch then placing that side panel here and again I think I'm going to use my hammer a tiny bit because it really didn't want to stick down and it really wants to open here and there so I'm going to clamp it and then leave it for a few hours to dry before I continue And then I am going to remove the clamps here from the box, one by one. Um, and I wanted to start decorating it just like it is here, but um, it was easier if I just put everything together first, so I decided to do so. So again, I am gluing it here at the bottom part, all the way around. And then I am going to place the bottom part and again I'm using my hammer to force it down in place. And then I let that dry for a few hours before I continued. Now it is time to work on the inside of this little book nook. It's really really tiny. So I am doing what Ara from Bentley House is doing. I'm taking some small pieces of paper and stuffing in there because I want the bottom part here like um, in a green grass. I have some paper grass lying around and I wanted to make kind of a little wood uh, the scenery in this little box here. So I'm making sure that I know how big the floor or the bottom of this little box here is. I cut a tiny bit too much of this template so I'm just sticking another piece in there making sure that the template is fitting exactly at the bottom of this little box here. And then when I am ready with that I'm going to find my grass paper and then I'm going to cut out a piece that matches what I have right here. So this is actually a very easy way to make a template of a cornered room or a room that is hard to get into. 
there we go finally I have the size of the piece that I need so here is my grass paper uh, I got this a long long time ago so I actually don't know where I have it from anymore but mostly um, you can buy it in Warhammer stores they mostly have that so I'm just uh, cutting out the piece that fits exactly into the box and then I am going to glue it into the box and leave it to dry before I continue with working on it. I did not show you this, but the sides of this box, so the connection was actually sticking out to the side. So I actually cut those off. It took like a lot of work, but I did not like it was sticking out to the sides like that. Here I am using some milli potty for it. It's actually more for um making models of plastics and stuff like that but I didn't have any wood filling at all so I'm just using this and it worked perfectly so I'm just filling out every gap that it made uh, from taking off those uh, edges and then I'm just gonna leave it to dry After it had dried for a few hours, I slightly sanded it to make it look nice and then I painted the outside of the box and the edges here all black to make it look, look a little better than it actually did when I got it. After that was dried, it was finally time to do something in the box and I had this little wooden uh, piece here and I wanted to use that for a tree. So I decided on which way it would go in there and then I am just going to glue it down with some super glue. While waiting on the glue to dry, I decided to paint the cat and the bicycle. The cat I started first with a white layer and later I am going over it with a yellowish brownish layer to make it a little cuter. I painted the bike yellow and I used some silver paint for the uh, details on it and um, I painted the tires black because they had this weird grayish color and here I am painting the cat with this yellowish brownish color all over to make it a little more interesting to look at here is some silver for the details on the bike And painting the tires black so they look nice and even. And I am giving the cat some eyes and a tiny nose. Then I decided where to put the little bike and used my super glue gel just to make sure that it would stay when I placed it and I am going to place it up the tree in there just carefully placing it like that because I want it to stand against the tree like this 
then you don't see the back side of it and uh, I like that so that's a little bike I have a lot of different greenery stuffs from train station sets uh, and I'm gonna use that for some fun things in there this I actually think is supposed to be a hedge um, but I'm using it to curl it up into a little bush instead cutting off the excess here and then just placing this little bush where I want it and I'm just gonna glue it down with some uh, taggy glue Then I found some small green plastic uh, leaves thingies and I'm just gonna glue them down here on the side as well for some more kind of different bushes. Uh, so I'm just gluing them in one by one until I have a nice full bush that I like. So here is the result for now. I kind of like this. I have the little cat. I want that to sit in uh, the grass under the bush here. So I'm just putting some tacky glue on it and I'm going to place that and leave it to dry before I continue on this little book nook. There we go. I kind of like this. I have these grass tufts again. This is from train station making and I'm just gluing in a few of these here and there where I like them to stand. It is quite fiddly to work in this little room here. It has been easier if I could have made it um, before I put it all together, but that would have been even harder, I think. I have these small tiny rocks here and I was just gluing a few of them down here at the side just to make something else. Then I have this flower flux, fluck, I think it's called, uh, in uh, different colors. And again, I'm just using my tacky glue, popping a dot of glue where I want some flowers, then taking some of this flower stuff and popping it into the glue. And this way I could make small flower pieces here and there. Uh, again, I just made a few of them here and there in the little room. I found this uh, weird uh, greenery thingy here and I'm just uh, going to cut off pieces from it and I'm going to hot glue that into the box on my tree here so it looks like it has a lot of nice leaves on there. So I'm just taking it, deciding where it should go and then taking some hot glue, putting a bead of the hot glue on there and then placing it on the uh, little branch here and making sure it grips, uh, the glue is gripping the branch just like that. And then I'm doing that a few more times and I think that is it.
I really wanted some birds or something in there in the tree as well, but everything I had was too big and I didn't feel like doing a bird that was this small because this is a really tiny scale, if it even have a scale. Um, so I just decided to leave that out. And for now, that's all I did on this little book nook. Um, I think it's a little... Um, I don't know. I'm not totally um, happy with the result, but I'm not against it either. I really think the little wood uh, theme here is uh, really, really nice. Um, I could have done something more on the sides, but okay, this is the result. So here you have the before pictures and then you will get a few after pictures after these. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.